We've got it all coming up. Plus, Dave Malkoff is up early on the West Coast this morning. Dave. Absolutely. Here in a Southern California plastics factory, you are not going to imagine where this comes from. Just wait until you see this story. It is Wednesday. It is Wake Up With Al, and it all starts right now. You're watching Wake Up With Al, live from New York, with Al Roker and Stephanie Abrams. Good morning, everybody. Wednesday, October 16th, 2013. All right, well, it's a simple idea with big potential, turning polluted air into actual products that most of us will use every day. The Weather Channel's Dave Malkoff is live in Costa Mesa, California, at a company that hopes to be a big game changer for climate change. And Dave, you were telling us earlier about how they take the carbon out of the atmosphere and turn it into plastic. How exactly do they do that? And Stephen, our producer, said, well, why don't they just hook up kind of a vacuum to, you know, smokestacks, smokestacks and just get it right like that. Yeah, they, they, that would be the way to do that. And they are doing that in the future. They hope to get it from a concentrated source. Right now, they're taking it from the air and they're taking it from concentrated sources. But everything you see here, the cups, the bag, the plates, even, in fact, the chair that I'm sitting on right now, it's all made from this plastic that comes from the air. And it's one man's dream. Uh, my name is Mark Harima. I'm the CEO of New Light Technologies. Some time ago, Mark had a simple idea. Today is actually the 10-year anniversary of our very first patent filing. Pull Southern California's polluted air from the roof and make something with all that carbon coming from cars, power plants, and farms. Plants do this every single day. The way a tree grows is by pulling carbon out of the air. It's taken a decade, but Mark's team finally has something. Is this it right here? Right, so, so this is actually air carbon. Air carbon is the product name they use for this white powder. How does this become plastic, though? Heat it up, and air carbon becomes a plastic called PHA. Looking a bit like nerd's candy, this is PHA before they add color, hardener, and shape. Bags, films, in fact, those two chairs right there are made with our material. In 2011, the U.S. alone generated almost 14 million tons of plastic. Only about 8% was ever recycled. Right now, most plastic comes from oil. This plastic comes from the air. Oh, wow, yeah, I can feel it. So the air's going through here. And out it comes. It's a nice idea, but one or two of these plants could never vacuum our way out of global climate change. Although Mark truly believes he has found a way to make air plastic cost less than oil plastic. If this can outcompete on price, we don't have to ask people to do a nice thing. We're saving money and we're pulling carbon out of the air. And this is it right here. More than 50% of this plastic right here came from the air on top of this building. They are also pulling it from farms where they have concentrated sources of methane there. But the latest research from Princeton University says actually vacuuming up all the carbon that we have in the air, some of it that will stay for thousands of years, is somewhat beyond 21st century technology, you guys. Hey, Dave, uh, and I don't mean to put you on the spot, but right now, is uh, are, are the cost of his plastic competitive with what's made from oil? That is the breakthrough that they made here not too long ago. Before that, they were getting not the greatest plastic out of here, but they made a breakthrough that they can actually get the full 100% plastic that you would use to make any kind of this stuff from the air and it's cheaper. That's the, that's the game story. changer there. Yeah, this yeah. story is incredible. That's terrific. All right, Dave Malkoff, thanks so much. Well, just ahead on Wake Up With Al, feeling the squeeze. Your next flight may make you feel very friendly with the person <laughs> next to you. As if you don't already <laughs> feel like, you know, you're sitting halfway on their lap, right? Yeah, those of us with the big keisters are not going to like this. Oh. We've got the story coming up.